Hey, good afternoon guys. Hey, we are gonna look at breeds of our backyard flock. What I mean by that is we are gonna rank some chickens. We have got 20 different breeds currently that are all breeds that you could get from hatcheries. We do have a couple mixed breeds that were hatched out by us here on the farm. We are not gonna review them since they're not, they're not heritage breeds or they're not purebred breeds of any kind. The purpose of this is one, to have a little discussion over favorite breed types, best breeds we found here on our farm in our short time of having chickens. We've had chickens now for 18 months or so from hatching them out as chicks this year, going back to last year, getting some at farm stores and hatcheries and we just wanted to, to put it out there for a little discussion over favorite breeds and then also to help somebody if they're looking at starting a backyard flock at some different breeds that may be for what they're looking for and so we're gonna rank them on seven different categories so I made a list of all of our breeds we've currently got 20 breeds I'm gonna rank our 22 breeds that we've had here on the farm because a couple breeds we no longer have but I want to include them just so they're in the discussion because we did get different benefits out of them but we rank them on seven different categories one being appearance two being broodiness their egg laying ability how often they lay their egg size from small to large and their egg color if it was something that we found different and enjoyable from what we you typically see at the store or from even from a, a small farm and friendliness with us and the kids and dual purpose if they provide good meat and good eggs the best total score a breed could get is 14 we gave them basically zero to two points for each category so broodiness if they're if they've gone broody with us two points if they have not gone broody zero points in their appearance if we did not like their appearance zero if it's okay one if we love the appearance two and so on and so forth so that's how we came up with it from there we just totaled up the points and then this is how it landed we didn't just say you know our favorite breed was french black copper morans because that's honestly that's probably my favorite breed but based on my ranking it is not number one so let's go through the 22 breeds right now and give a quick discussion as to why we like these guys let's go one of the birds we don't have here on the farm currently that we've had last year and this year was the Cornish Cross. We raised them along with the Red Rangers for meat. They are the most efficient birds at growing. They are not dual purpose. They are not good for laying eggs or breeding. You need to buy them from a hatchery, but we've had really successful chickens and we've been able to sell those because they just grow out to be a huge bird. So we've had those here on the farm, currently don't have those. This is the Cuckoo Marines. Very similar appearance to the Bard Rock, but it will lay a dark brown colored egg. New to the farm this year. Some of these birds are tough to catch. Holy moly. So this lady, Gold Lace Wyandotte. Really gorgeous bird. I don't care for it as much as the Silver Lace Wyandotte. I love that silver color. Wyandotte seem to be good egg layers. Lay a creamy colored egg that we don't get from a lot of other birds. So I expect good things out of these guys and they are tough to catch. Good luck getting this one, Predator. This is Dove. Get it? She looks like a dove. She is our Japanese white black-tailed bantam. We used to have a little few roosters with her. She's one of our original 12. She laid the first egg here on the farm. She was very proud of herself. And she's a treat to have on the farm, but again, she's a bantam. So she is tiny, about the palm of my hand. Lays a really small egg occasionally. You wanna go back home? Let's go back home. This girl's an amber link. They're pretty new to the farm. Still a pullet. Haven't laid eggs yet, but I think their white color is pretty cool. This is our Delaware. We love the design that the Delaware and the light Brahma have with the black neckline. 
the black tail, and they've been very sweet birds to us. This bird is the Silver Lace Wyandotte. Very sweet bird. Their designs are one of the coolest out there. New to our flock this year, so not sure how their egg laying abilities will be yet, and haven't been solid at going into the coop yet at night, but they're just gorgeous. This lady's our Blue Copper Marin. We just have one, new to the farm, but very lovely gray hue to her. This is one of our Black Copper Morans. It's very similar to the Australorp with the black feathers and the greenish hue, but these guys have the slightly copper colored neck. Just beautiful, but they do not have the feathered feet like the French Black Copper Morans do. So I love them. But I love those French, man. And they should lay a nice dark brown egg too. One of the breeds we don't have here on the farm currently, but have had in the past year was the Silky. Definitely a favorite of us. Becky absolutely loves them. But we have a really hard time keeping them with our main flock. They really got picked on for being so small, so we really tried to keep them separate. We put them in the coop at night, and then before we could get them out in the morning and separate them, a couple of them just got beat up by the other chickens. So we definitely love silkies, but definitely see the need for a separate coop for them, or at least be able to raise them up before merging them in with the flock. They're really well known for their broodiness and sitting on eggs. We love them just for their friendliness, for how cute they are, but we just couldn't keep them here on the farm with the other birds, so we look forward to getting them again in the future. This might get a little noisy. This might get a little noisy. Let me talk, okay? This is our main rooster. We called him Summer. Ooh, he's gonna peck me in the face. We call him Summer. He is a well summer. When we ordered chicks from McMurray Hatchery last year, they sent us one rare breed, which turned out to be this guy. He ended up being victim to a possum that snatched off a good chunk of his wing, but he's just gorgeous, takes great care of the ladies. Been really good around our boys so far, so we may just breed some well summers in the future. But at the least, he's the father to some of our olive eggers were hatched out by the mama hen. Thank you, buddy. This boy is our French Black Copper Moran Rooster. They are French when they have the feathered feet. This boy was saved from the rooster butchering because he is just gorgeous and we want to hatch out these French Black Copper Morans in the future. So dare I say this will be our prized rooster in the future. We need a name for him, huh? He needs to be like King Richard. He's my precious. They're known for their dark brown eggs and that's why we're really excited about them to add another color to the egg basket. This is Leona. She is our buff cochin, known for her feathered feet. Very small bird, lays a really small egg, but she was our amazing broody mama from last year that hatched out a bunch of chicks. We wouldn't recommend bantams, just meaning they're a really small bird laying a small egg. They're really more of a pet, but they do have a purpose with their broodiness, just like the silkies. This girl is a red layer. They are not a heritage breed, but their specialty is laying eggs and being efficient for being small, and laying medium to large eggs. This is our Splash Morans. I think absolutely gorgeous, a very unique bird. We bought these eggs from a lady in Texas and hatched them out over winter. We had a bunch of eggs and this is the only one that survived. So she was an expensive lady, but I'm hoping to get more of her because she is gorgeous and she lays a beautiful dark brown egg as most of the Morans do. This is the Bard Rock. We love these ladies. We don't care so much for their color, but we love the amount of eggs they lay. They are definitely a staple of any backyard flock because they have been our best layers. Thank you, girl. This is one of our Red Ranger hens. It's the same breed we have over at the shop for our meat birds. We actually hung on to four of these from last year's flock. We didn't have any roosters in that bunch, so this year we may bring one of the roosters over to breed with our three or four Red Ranger ladies. They lay really big eggs, so I can't recommend these guys enough for their dual purpose ability. This is our Rhode Island Red. We had a few last year and we had a raccoon break in and took the other two or three of these that we had. I think we underestimate the dual purposeness of this breed since we only have one, because this one is a very good layer and we just don't see or hear from this one very much. So I've got to say they are probably pretty sweet. Good layers, good dual purpose, good birds that we probably need some more of on the farm. This is one of our Buff Orpington hens. Amazing layers, great brown egg, awesome dual purpose breed. One of our friendliest birds on the farm, although we do have two of the three are broody right now. So that makes them pretty awesome all around. Good egg layers, good mamas, very friendly. One of the plainer 
birds in appearance, but one of the best to have around kids. This is the black Australorp, really beautiful bird. Not sure if you'll be able to see it or not, but it has a beautiful shimmery green tint over their black feathers. They've been one of our best egg layers. And if it weren't for such a plain color, we definitely would love them more, but still they're a great chicken to have on the board. We lost a few early on, and we made sure to restock on some Australorps this year because they are such good egg layers, and they are very friendly. This is our blue laced red wind up. A very good layer, a nice cream colored egg. And really to date, one of our best broody mamas. She hatched out our five chicks about a month ago. She was extremely mean and nasty when she was broody, which probably means she's a good broody mama. Good at protecting, and her color is just gorgeous. This is it guys, this is our number one breed. Americanas. Colors are gorgeous. They are not a heritage breed, so they have got quite a wide range of colors, designs, but they're most notably known for their muff, right here by the face, but I just think they're gorgeous. Egg colors are tremendous from greens to blues. I know there's often discussion between if something's an Americana or Easter Egger. I don't get too caught up in that. This will be a future breeding rooster. This is just one of our gorgeous girls right here. Woo! That was a chore, huh? Have you ever tried to catch 20 different chicken breeds? That was tough. Well, hey, I hope you got something out of it. I hope you found some birds that you want to try. Let me know if I miss some some birds, some breeds. As far as hatcheries or farm stores or buying from other farms, these are the birds that we've had the most success with. These are the ones that we enjoy getting eggs from. So let us know who we missed, how we ranked it wrong, how we should have done it differently. We had a lot of fun chasing down these birds and showing them to you. We'll see you next time. Great, go bud.